check this thing out. So let's see. We got a grill top. Second piece. I think that's it. Some directions. I think that's all we have. Nice. Can't be too complicated. Don't know where my jackknife went. Here we go. <laughs> what we got here? This tightens it. I think this needs to come out to get it in. Oh, this is the steak. Hard as a rock. <laughs> Too angled. Oh, it can handle it fine. It's not even scratching. Now it is. And this it goes further down. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay. Put your thread on. Maybe it doesn't stop. Maybe it swing. Yeah, it's a swing okay. away. Yeah, I didn't know if it swung one way. If there's a point where this will stop, but I, I, I think, yeah. Perfect, it stopped right there. Because it's threaded. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, and then just to move it, we'll just have to use a, we'll grab it up here. Probably still be hot or no? Find oh, out. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> well, right. I'm certainly looking forward to hamburgers and steaks on the grill, on the Absolutely. wood fire. <laughs> Me too. Actually, this isn't a bad setup. I think I paid in the 40s for this. I'll have a link in the description box. It's at Menards. I'm real happy with it for 40 some dollars. And I know there's a local guy that does these, I think even in stainless steel, but I think they go over $100. But this is fine for us. This is awesome. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, and it has a little ridge on it. I didn't see that before. So stuff yeah. doesn't roll off. That's nice. What's on the docket for dinner tonight? Well, we got four no-name steaks we're gonna cook up. I want the name brand. Four hamburgers. <laughs> Just kidding. I know they're they're fantastic. Yeah. So we keep buying them. Their salmon's good too. So we'll get the four steaks. We'll get the four hamburgers. Um, I bought some shish kebabs. All we had handy was a Walmart, but the shish kebabs actually look pretty good. So we'll see. Maybe. Yeah. Let's get this puppy going. All right. So unfortunately, things changed, and we weren't able to video our meal. So we wanted to bring you along with as we cook over our new backyard fire pit using this newly put together swing away grill. And the wood fire taste is out of this world. So, well, anyhow, let's just get right into it. So I thought this would also be a good time to mention that we have a trip planned for Florida in January. We really want to look closer into the possibility of buying an acre of wooded land in rural Florida. We also want to look at buying a small fixer-up type property in the Fort Myers area. Probably would be a long-term rental. They say about a thousand people a day are moving to Florida. So the million dollar question is on whether or not the housing market will soften. And if so, how much, if any, for the smaller properties? Land prices, well, they just keep going up and up. They look fantastic. <laughs> Perfect. Should have probably cut these ahead of time but that's okay we thought we had an onion but we didn't have any onions i think we'll just put a little bit of lettuce on there not too much gives it a little moisture find something green ah that's gonna be great a couple of peppers could have cooked those too Ooh, that should be good
That ought to be healthy, full of magnesium. Get a little bit of this on there. And we'll skip the mustard. Go, go! <laughs> so be sure to subscribe if you want to follow along with us as we'll be doing more home improvement DIYs, Airbnb and RV share short term renting, decluttering, finishing up the rental of our RV and more. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.